doing a cucumber check after all the rain. We've got quite a few on this little plant. I think they're ready yet. Let's see. The cabbages are finally starting to grow. <clears throat> We've had about we've got all kinds of little cucumbers. None really big enough to get right now though. Oh no, I spotted one. There we go. It's ready. Here we go. I like on this size right here. Um, these, all of them should be ready. Probably by the weekend. I'll have, I might have enough to do some pickles. Let's go look at the zucchinis. Saw some blooms. These go fast too, so I try, try to keep up with them. So there's one. See a couple blooms over here. Yes, two. So we'll have three zucchini soon. Yep. So you can see they're way, way taller than me. Let's see. Yep. And we do have some blooms right here. Um, so that makes me glad. I'm happy because it is now what June 20, June 21st. And normally I am canning on my 4th of July holiday. So that gives me, yeah, I'll probably have some beans by the end. So it's almost, let's see, almost two weeks. Maybe two weeks, but yeah, hopefully we'll have some beans to can because they are blooming. And once they bloom, if they get the right amount of rain and sunshine, it goes really fast. And here is our greasy beans. Um, they do not grow as fast and as good as um, the white half runners, but they are looking nice. That is a pretty row. I'll see if I can show you. So here's the difference. On the right side is the white half runners. Left side is the greasy beans. I mean, the plants are really pretty. It's just they're not, they don't grow nearly as fast. So Keith brought to my attention that the greasy beans are starting to run. So we're gonna have to start running the string to them. I didn't even pay attention. Here's our, some of our tomatoes. They've grown really good. They're almost as tall as I am. Here's our corn. We've got six 125 foot rolls of honey select. It's getting pretty tall too. Let's see if I can show you. It's almost, well, some of it's almost up to my shoulders. There is the cauliflower, the broccoli, and the potatoes. They have got so big. The vines haven't started to die back yet, but they are blooming, so. Look at this corn patch. I 
I can't wait till it starts to tassel because um, we have had, we've lost two beehives here. Um, I know they're still here somewhere because we get so many bees in our garden, but um, uh, we had two beehive swarm. Um, we kept bees for, I think, three years. And then they kept swarming and we just gave it up. But I do like to see them come back and visit the garden, especially when the corn starts tasseling. The pumpkins are doing good. And the gourds. This is my one lonely giant pumpkin plant. It's the only one that made it. The rest of them are pie pumpkins and gourd, the birdhouse gourds. Strawberry patch. We're getting all kinds of little strawberries. I need to cut back the mint. So with five days straight of rain, you definitely need to check your garden about every day to make sure everything's looking good in it. Um, and ours seems to be growing good. These have all kinds on them, all the way up. We're actually supposed to have a pretty weekend, so I think probably after the weekend, sunshine, we may be able to have some fried green tomatoes. They'll probably grow pretty quickly. So the comfrey is coming up good. It's doubled in size. Echinacea, not so much. I don't know what happened. So I'm about to replant it. Well, I do see a little bit right here. Do you see? Right there's a little one. But we planted all kinds of them. And then here, be real cute if I fall over this mountain. That's the, all the way down to the creek. And over here is strawberry plants. I don't think any of them really came up either. There may be a few. That one over there is too. I'm going to have to replant them. So, I had put some giant pumpkin seeds in a container. And I thought they wasn't going to come up. And they have actually came up. So, we're going to plant them. They actually look really healthy. I think um, two of them came up. Well, there's three actually. The other one just hasn't busted through yet. So we're gonna go ahead and plant them. So we'll have four giant pumpkins. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these pumpkins if they do good. 